हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज ऑटो कैट टूटोरियल सीरीज फॉर बिगनर और फॉर ए न्यू यूजर्स द वर्जन ऑफ दिस ऑटो कैट इज 2014 बट नाउ डेज द रिलीज ऑफ ऑटो कैट वर्जन 2020-20 सो व्हाई वी लर्न दिस वर्जन बिकॉज इन द मार्केट 2020-20 इज लॉन्च बिकॉज ऑल वर्जन्स आर सेम work only different of the layouts or extra graphical tools okay not require the higher version for any drawing you can draw any drawing in any version okay okay one more thing if you create a file in 2020 2014 let's assume 2014 and 2007 these are two autocad version if you create a file in 2014 that file not open in 2007 but if you create a file in 2007 that easily open in 2014 okay okay because the every year the version is come coming of autocad or other software but in autocad only the changes is the working windows and these icons and the color and the theme of the autocad if you know the commands you know that we are working on autocad by command and gui graphical user interface we can draw any drawing by use typing the command or by click on these icons okay if you remember the commands you easily work in any version okay so let's start okay this is the working space where we create the drawing and this is the ribbon and blocks where the icons of different types of tool like home solid surface mesh render insert how to measure how to draw line how to draw 3d how to copy how to layer these are all tools here you can see and this is the status bar and this is the command bar where we type the command okay we teach you autocad as simple as possible okay let's start when you start the autocad you see this line with grid lines these are the grid lines okay and you see here a view panel where we see here the right the top it means that this is the top view okay top view means x and y okay if we click on e east view north view west view south view okay and this is the view panel and this is the other views and other render views we don't touch these two now because we start as a beginner okay let's start like uh, autocad is very simple and very very creative or very important software okay now i change here click and change the autocad template because i want to draw drafting and annotation drawings so we choose this okay close this window this is simple like line and you click and you draw the lines like this and if you right click this options appear cancel this option if you scroll rotate zoom in zoom out if you scroll press your pen is activate you move the drawing not drawing move the screen okay so i tell you in first of this tutorial we learn this by command that is good for us so we erase this line and start the autocad from the beginning the first command is the line command 
you can choose line from here and you can choose line from type L if you press L now hold this I tell you something you can take the line command from here you can press L when you press L near your cursor you show the L and other command is showing this is a function you have to activate if you not activate this function thus L is not appear here this appear L appear here okay if you want you type your command appear near your cursor you activate the dynamic input you can dynamic input activate from here or by F8 sorry F12 this is the dynamic input if switch off this and uh, now we press L not showing in the near the cursor now showing L here but is easy when command appear here so we activate by F12 dynamic input ok press L not yet activate ok now press L and enter now he ask first point of the line when you draw a line by a pencil you put a pencil at a point and you start draw the line same as now he ask the first point of the line and this is the coordinate in x and y when we move the cursor this coordinate is change because the my origin is this when my, we take the mouse here is not possible to mouse hold at origin so what we do we type 0 and the blue side this is the blue is activate for typing so we type 0 and we press the tab button we press the tab button of keyboard when we press the tab now the second cell is activate to typing and we type in x now y activate now we press 0 enter now the first point is take by origin taken by this cursor is origin because we uh, give the coordinate 0 comma 0 ok now the second point ok and when we drag the mouse you can see here the this is the length of the line ok and second point you choose if you want some angle so uh, and this is the angle like we, I want to draw the second point the length of the line is 6000 we type 6000 you can see here 6000 type the next is what is the angle if we press tab the angle cell is activate we press here 30 enter and you want to come out from this command line command press escape button ESE now this line is 6000 length and angle is 30 degree ok now you understand how to type uh, how to draw a line ok we again press L and enter and I want to draw the next line from this end <coughs> sorry now you see here when we move the mouse at this end a green point automatically automatically like a magnet is snap the end point because this is also a option is on this option is on snap button is on that's why he take easily snap button so how to activate this snap button go to the this square shape and the corner is highlight right click and setting now you see here the all snap is on midpoint automatically showing midpoint end point center node intersection perpendicular these are automatic showing think if you this on this uh, option is on by f3 okay if we off this now you see here we take line cover not seeing the corner not midpoint if we on this f3 now he is showing the end point or also if we move the mouse on the line this triangle showing the midpoint ok we select here and enter another line of 3000 length and by tab button 65 degree angle 
and the angle remember this angle is measured from here enter 65 enter and by scab button you come out the this command okay so this is the way you create any drawing by the using of line command now one more thing if you want to draw a line straight in x and y so what you do you have to precisely move your mouse but is not possible so what we do so we have also one option f8 ortho f8 by f8 ortho is on now automatically line straight you see here we can't draw line incline okay because f8 is on if we f8 is off now we have to able to draw incline line okay this is the all about the line next command you uh, if we draw a line by line command command a shape this is the shape now i want to select the shape i want to select the shape so what we do if we click here and mouse drag from left to right to left now i am click here and drag my mouse right to left and the green area is showing what happen okay now you see here this line and these both line are in this area but not full length half length or uh, some length and if we click here the la full length of the line is select okay if we click here and drag here in blue area and now these two lines come in this area but we click not select because if we cl right click and we click and drag mouse from this direction if some object touch this area then we click the whole area is select whole line object is select but when we come from this blue we need fully line select like this now now you see here this line is not fully touch fully and in this area not this line but this line is fully in this area if we click only this line is select okay let's if you want to erase this line to press e r a erase enter and select object and enter okay we understand the line command now we have to draw circle or before circle we draw a rectangle okay by line command line enter we take this point and f it on by line straight and we type 3000 and enter now we have a line of 3000 in horizontal and vertical i want to draw 2000 line enter and then again horizontal 3000 and we click here and scab button by scab button we come out from this command now this is the rectangle of 300 by 200 to 3000 by 2000 okay now i want to draw a circle for circle press c enter and now you ask the first point or center point of the circle we choose this now when mouse drag he asking the radius of the circle we put 500 and enter this is the 500 radius circle okay then again i want to draw a circle of 600 diameter so what we do c enter select first point now press d for di enter now he asking diameter we provide 600 enter this is the 600 dia circle and this is the 500 before we learn other commands first we learn the text command and major dimensions command how to measure the lines and circle and text i think this is important for tutorial as well as you okay if you going to the annotate button and here is dimension first is the uh, 
linear line you select the corners and drag the mouse out of this and select here now what happened this is the biggest problem if everywhere every person with every user sorry this is the r rectangle line and this is r the dimensions line this is 3000 i think we create line but not the text appear not the arrow appear so what how to set this because our screen because why this error because our screen is too large only 3000 is this that's why this error not error because the our screen because of our screen size is too large that's why this text is very small as compared to the size of screen if we shrink this if we shrink this workspace then we measure after that i tell you how to correct this in big screen okay so what we do we erase all these things now we set the our workspace okay let's start this is the workspace so we need the coordinates of this and this okay let's assume this is the 100 meter and this is the this is also 100 meter so the command of this corner is 0 and 0 and command of this is 0 100 comma 100 okay let's start for workspace type limits limits enter the first point is 0 tab 0 and second point is 100 tab 100 and press z enter press a enter after you set the limits of your work screen is very important to press z and press enter press z press z enter z means zoom press a enter a means all okay now we again type line l enter now you see here on the dimensions of this line when we drag the mouse is only 29 and the previous screen this is the 3000 around okay so i am typing 50 here and 20 here and 50 again and 20 now we create circle of 5 radius and c enter d enter and 10 this is the die of 10 okay and now again we go to the annotate and measure this horizontal line now is clearly visible now you understand why uh, previous workspace previous workspace is not visible this and now is visible because previous workspace is too large this dimension is uh, approximately equal to the 3000 that's why this but how to correct this now i tell you the command is dim style you press dim automatically showing you full command dim dim this is the dim style okay enter and go to the modify and this is the text length 2.5 if we press 2 and this is the arrow size 2 okay set close now text is small in previous window you have to modify the text this text height and arrow height and easily you create now what we do we again go to the large workspace so erase this and limits limits and the first point is 0 0 and the second point is 10,000 10,000 Z enter a enter now the when we again draw a line uh, you can see here 3,000 previous uh, large workspace we draw 3,000 by 2,000 rectangle and 3000 and this now we measure this not appear the dimension now go to the dim style and modify and text size is 2 uh, i think 200 
is visible arrow size also 200 and ok set close now it is visible one more thing if you want to this line is touching this object i want this line take some space this space and also after arrow take some space line so again we go to the dim style modify and uh, what i do go to the line this is two type of offset we press 100 here or 100 here it means 100 spacing here and 100 out of the arrow set close now you check here this is spacing is 100 and this is the 100 okay now we draw the circle uh, first we take the radius of 600 and again we press circle by d diameter and diameter we provide 500 now we measure the radius and diameter of this to so go click here and check the radius and click this this go again and check the diameter this this you can measure the all dimensions by this okay now draw the rectangle for rectangle you press rec enter the first point is rectangle we um, take by the press click here and the second the f this blue cell is the this and the second cell is this okay so we provide uh, first cell 2000 tab and the second cell is 3000 enter this is the 2000 and 3000 okay now one more important thing i want to teach you i draw a line enter and the line length is 50000 our screen limit is 10000 but i want to draw a line of 50000 enter and escape now line not visible whole line is not visible so what we do z enter a enter is always work when your object is going out of your screen and scroll the mouse you can zoom in and zoom out okay next is the different type of circle okay if you press c enter then press down key down arrow key in your keyboard first you type c enter first point down key is diameter you can change here for diameter okay now fear ag now again we press c and down key and he asking 2p 3p and 10 10 radius first of all we teach you 2p okay 2p means he draw a circle by two points the first point is this and the second point is this so we draw a circle without radius without diameter only by 2p now again we go to the circle down key and select 3p now we select 1p this 2p this and 3p is this okay my circle my this circle is 3p circle and i'm click here and here and here this circle is touching the all three points and without radius we create this circle okay next c enter down key tangent tangent radius okay circle tangent means this tangent this circle tangent and radius is 2000 okay now this circle is touching of this radius this tangent this tangent and radius is 2000 so three type of uh, circle is in the command line next is polyline pl enter same as line we for line we press l and polyline we press pl so pl click and enter we switch off the f8 okay we draw same as line but what is the difference okay we also draw a, a same structure by line diagram this these are the uh, approximately same diagram but this is by polyline and this is by line how 
what is the difference if we select a line of this object or poly line the whole object is select but by line diagram we select only one line this is the difference in poly line the of whole drawing is made by one line and the line made by the different type of different line separate line okay now this is the text you want to type a text by this command or by empty command empty enter click mouse drag and type here www.engineersforcivil.com you can go this side and search more data for civil engineers and also non civil engineers okay we type this and we select this is text and this is the text height the default is 2.5 if we select 2.5 text is not visible because our screen too large okay so what we do we change this to 500 enter and press here this is the text height is 500 okay double by double click you can edit this and uh, if you want your double click is not working sometimes some autocad version double click is not uh, working so empty edit this is empty edit and click on text this command is always work okay i tell you again the commands is same of all versions only this icons double click and this icons and the color of the autocad is different maybe okay the next command is copy for copy co enter select the object enter now he asking you, you want to copy or move this text from the which point i select m from m and if we select and move the mouse and click where we want to copy like this okay this is the copy command and if you want to move command use m enter select object enter now he also asking where you which point you move now we select this and move so copy and move this is the command now in this video you learn the introduction of autocad copy command move command line command rectangle command circle command polyline command f8 means ortho and scale unit command and uh, also you learn how to use this autocad by scroll by scroll press and how to set the limit of work screen and how to uh, change the dimensions of dimensions text okay if you like this video please subscribe and like and share this video thank you